Call 1-888-GET-FIOS. 17 million bucks for the taking. Live Lotto Draw, next. This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Joe Torres and Sandra Bookman, Marvell Scott with sports, and Heidi Jones with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News. Farms and homes blown away tonight as more tornadoes leave behind a path of destruction in the Midwest. But first, it started as a man bumping into a woman as she walked through the park. It ended with a slashing. Good evening, I'm Joe Torres. And I'm Sandra Bookman. What should have been a leisurely stroll through Central Park on a holiday weekend ended in a bloody confrontation as a young boy looked on. It happened in the park tonight near 72nd Street in Central Park West. That's where Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Lead is live with the story. Carolina? And Sandra, a witness tells me his friend was simply walking along the sidewalk when he bumped into that family, but his apology wasn't enough. Police say the husband decided to even the score right in front of his own toddler. He sliced up with numerous. One gash alone was this big and it's attempted murder. This unidentified witness says he never thought a bump would land his friend in the hospital, sedated and stitched up after tonight's Central Park slashing. All over bumping into somebody, and he did say it's sorry. This witness says his buddy bumped into a woman with her husband and their child on his way to the store around 7 tonight. Words were exchanged, but he thought that was the end of it. I will get cigarettes to come back, and Johnny's outside bleeding to death. Paramedics quickly rushed the man to the hospital and police combed the park looking for the family, a family this witness ID'd. A swarm of cops canvassed the park about a half hour later, searching for the weapon of choice. A box cutter used to slash the man's stomach. We got to get all the way down there. As dozens of police searched the park, Shizan tried to enjoy the warm weather with his two boys. He says this is something you wouldn't expect anyone to do in front of their own child. I'm very surprised, extremely, because I thought this is a very safe place. And police have arrested a man tonight. He is charged with assault. Reporting live in Central Park, I'm Carolina Lead, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Carolina, thank you. A street shooting in Queens tonight leaves one person in critical condition and four others injured. The gunfire sent people running for their lives this afternoon on Roosevelt Avenue in Jackson Heights. Investigators believe one person was the intended target. The other four victims, just innocent bystanders. Detectives say the shooting is gang related and because of that, not many eyewitnesses are talking for fear of retaliation. Police hope a security camera from one of the stores will lead them to the shooter. Tonight, a mother is mourning the death of her only child. The 15-year-old was shot to death when a birthday party on the west side turned violent. She shared her grief with Eyewitness News reporter Stacy Sager. There are no words to describe um, when you lose a child. Her grief has taken her words, the devastation of losing her only child just too much to bear. It was here on West 90th Street and Amsterdam Avenue at 1 o'clock in the morning that 15-year-old Maurice MacGyver's fun night out with friends suddenly turned ugly. It was just east side and west side. That's where everybody was yelling. Wherever you was from, that's what they was yelling. Kareem Ortega was Maurice's best friend, and she and others tell us it started when they went from Maurice's East Harlem neighborhood to this Upper West Side apartment for a friend's birthday party. But the party, with about 50 teenagers, soon spilled outside, as did the rivalry between East and West. Suddenly, gun 